Hey guys, I think this video I'm making, this is part 76 or so, this is actually a post recording because I lost the original audio file before I found out I could just do a singular recording take with the same channel of footage and audio being recorded. Like I was recording from separate lines in some of these videos, I was doing the audio separately from the visual, I was wearing the headset and recording the audio on my computer while capturing the game footage on the PlayStation 4 before I found out that I could do it on one channel. I could just plug my headsets into my controller and record the game capture that way after messing with the customization settings on Digimon World on PlayStation 4 overall. So I believe what I'm doing here, because I'm actually re-watching the footage I created, uh, Rewatching the footage that I had a while ago, I believe what I'm doing here. I'm actually going to try and speak softer because it's nighttime where I am and I can't be noisy in front of the neighbors. So I have Magnamon and Imperial Dramon Fighter Paladin mode. Paladin mode, sorry. I believe where I am here is the point of the game where you're supposed to fight a virus type Digimon. I believe it is. You're fighting the evolutionary stage of Diaboromon. All these Digimon right here, I think they're called Kurosarimon? Yeah, they're part of the evolution line for Diaboromon. So, nothing special is really happening in this fight. I mean, I'm doing pretty okay. I'm doing, doing pretty well, actually. Digimon World Next Order, for me, has been a fun experience. I haven't played this game in months. Uh, I just started making this r audio recording uh, as a post-production kind of thing. But I'm actually happy with the way I play this game. If anything, this makes me... I don't know. I'm, I'm conflicted on saying this, but I like Digimon World as a game. I like the original, and I like Next Order. And I played the PSP version. Uh, Redigitize. I don't know if I want any more Digimon World games. Like, not because I don't like them, or because I enjoy them... The thing is, I feel like Digimon World has really been tested. Like, there's so much more to do. The limits to this sub-series have been pushed far enough for me. I mean, I'm satisfied that we got this type of game, and in fact, I might want to do a live stream. I'm prepared to do a live stream of this game, just because I'm a big Digimon fan, and I'm, I want to show my dedication to the games. I like this series. I like the Cyber Sleuth series, I like the World series, and we're getting uh, Digimon Survive. I'm guessing that's another series, another sub-series for the Nintendo Switch and for the PS4. So, one more PS4 Digimon game for my collection. Awesome. Now, freaking release it on PC, and I will be twice as happy. Three times as happy, technically, because it's it's coming to Switch. Oh, and here and here we are. We're talking to Mastimon, Mirde's Digimon. Yeah, I never liked Mastimon in this dungeon, because she steals your HP and MP, but in exchange she gives you time. Now, what did I do here in the menu? Oh, I get, yeah, I had two double discs, two super double discs, which heal MP and HP by 20,000 for each party. For my left Digimon and my right Digimon. But I do love Next Order. I loved how challenging it is by forcing you to adjust to raising two Digimon at a time. To me, that is a straight up evolution of the original Digimon world. Although, I. Even though this game qualifies as a sequel and somewhat remake of the original, I do want to play a version of Digimon World, the first one, with better graphics and better gameplay customizations and new gameplay mechanics. I would love to see a reboot of the original. Oh, look, it's Shoma Suzuki. Let's see, it's back there. Well, you, you guys, I, I don't need to read the text bubbles. You guys will probably hear my voice uh, taking precedent over the audio, but there will still be some audio. Okay, I'm not going to talk. This is a cutscene here. Found it. It digivolved again. But this is the last time. Hang on. Looks like there's something weird happening. It called in reinforcements. It has that power too? I'll take on the reinforcements. You go after that thing. Okay, when when it says caution, it means chances are your Digimon stats compared to the boss one the bosses are you're out of your league. 
pretty much. And Dioboromon in this... I'm sorry, not Dioboromon. Armageddonmon. In this fight... Because I, I thought Dioboromon was part of this evolutionary chain. I think he is. Um, I, I don't remember having fought him. I, I guess you don't have to the first go around. As I was saying, Armageddonmon is overwhelmingly powerful if you don't know what you're doing. But luckily, I know what I'm doing in this vid. Okay, here I'm using attack... I, I'm, guess, I'm guessing that I'm using boosters and plugins in order to sort of slow down the ability uh, to severely injure my Digimon. And this guy also has the power, Armageddon Mon has the power to inflict status ailments on me, which means I can't use the special and double attacks. I can't use my Digimon special move if I'm not careful. You know, talking and playing this game is really difficult. Sometimes I'm unsure how I want to do the streams, the streaming, given that I prefer to just talk I prefer to talk in some instances, but by the same token, I find that really difficult to do. So I try to talk as less as possible. I mean, don't get me wrong, if I do a Twitch stream, I'll probably not talk if I'm playing the game for the first se or second time. I'd rather just talk for, let's say, if I get really good at the game and I master it. But I'm still weighing that decision when it comes to doing Twitch streams. I don't usually stream on Twitch. I would like to. But I'm giving it a lot of thought. Okay, so I've inflicted Armageddon Mon with the status effect, which should slow him down. It won't stop him completely. Using the Super Recovery Hollow Disc has allowed me to heal um, both Digimon. What, what am I doing here? Uh, yeah, large recovery disc because I ran out of MP with Imperial Dramon Paladin mode. And MP is really, really... Um, it's really important in this game. It's a detriment. Here goes. Yeah, because I think Armageddon Mon can actually just take MP from you if you're not careful. Okay, so I'm using Plasma Shot, which, which it should be Magnet Explosion. And I'm using the Omega Blade. Alright, so I've already killed half his health. And I am running out of recovery items by this point. Major recovery items. Like, I could probably recover 500 or 1000 HP, but, you know, these Digimon lose HP by the tens of thousands in one or two hits. I mean, I really wasn't well prepared uh, at this point when I had done the playthrough. And I didn't know that you could be straight up invulnerable against these attacks of the boss Digimon, the special attacks. I did not know at this time that you could use, you could open up the L and R menu and you could actually make yourself invincible by using the defense. Uh, mech, uh, but I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say the right name, the defensive stance or whatever. You could defend yourself from all attacks, but it would cost order power. Which is another energy, which is another form of energy like MP. Order power in this case uses up a different type of energy so that you don't have to waste your magic points. And I believe he hit Imperial German with a status ailment. Yeah. Okay, and, and he lost his MP. I mean, it was, it was well, it, it's more like it was straight up taken from him in this boss fight. And I'm also on a timer, too, which is what makes this game a little bit challenging at first. Like, at first. Largely challenging at first. And in some portions of the battle, Armageddon Mon does not take substantial amounts of damage. He actually takes uh, the, min the bare minimum damage. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I didn't use all those status boosters on my Digimon. But even at a disadvantage, I still am doing pretty well here. You know, if I do stream the game, if I do stream Next Order, I would like to spend my time teaching people how to play this game. Because I noticed that all these fans who are playing Next Order are coming over from Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. And they don't understand the differences between the World Series and the Story Series. One is an RPG, straight up RPG, which is Cyber Sleuth and Hacker's Memory. 
The other is a sort of, um, it's a Tamagotchi uh, character raising RPG. I, I wish I could explain it better, but you, I guess the best way to put it bluntly is that you're moving your Digimon, you're raising your Digimon. Battles are done really differently here because you're giving them food, you're taking them to the bathroom, you're you're raising them. In Cyber Sleuth, you don't have to worry about any of that. I mean, that one's a straight-up RPG. Okay, and the Omega Blade. Okay, y you know something? In this battle, I seem to have made two alternative... Yeah, two choices that are different from each other. I used both techniques at the same time in order to inflict double damage. But, or, or, I could inflict one technique from a special attack, one special attack, before the other Digimon special attack. Like, I don't use them at the same time, I use them separately. This would allow me to interrupt his special attack, because the glitch in this game, I think, is that if you have a... If you use your first partner Digimon to attack, and then Armageddonmon attacks, and then you use your second Digimon to... Uh, your second Digimon special move, the finisher, you can actually prevent yourself, both Digimon, from being damaged. Yeah, there's something weird about the way these sequential animations in this game take place. Because I know that exists. I've done it multiple times. Okay, so I beat Armageddon Mon, and there should be a cutscene. Dialogue sequence. Yeah, dialogue sequence. I'll look after Noir. This will be my way to give back to the digital world. Could you fight with me once more? I have a challenge for you. Hmm. When I was in fifth grade, there was a decision that I passed on. But now, I'm ready. Thanks. When the time comes, I'll be ready. You know what really would have been cool? If I could have fought alongside Shoma Suzuki, with my two Digimon, it could have been three on one. I've never seen that in a Digimon World game when it's the player, in the favor of the player. Like, you could have three Digimon on your side in a Digimon World game fighting against one really powerful Digimon. I mean, that'd be pretty awesome. I, I think if Digimon World um, does get a sequel, they should look into that type of mechanic where you have two Digimon and your ally can include a Digimon in the battle. And you could have control of that Digimon to a degree. Not a substantial amount of control, but uh, maybe a minimum, at the very least. And we get an email from Shoma say, acknowledging his thanks. 